you, Jesus and Mary. Today we celebrate and reflect on the life of St. Mark, the evangelist. St. Mark most probably knew our Lord while he was exercising his public ministry, though he was very young. Tradition has it that St. Mark, who is the only one who wrote about the incident of the young boy when caught by the soldiers in the agony in the garden, the arrest of Jesus, who wriggles free from his sheet and runs away. Tradition is that was St. Mark. And St. Mark actually was St. Mark's family who owned that garden. And he was sleeping with his sheep. And when he heard the ruckus going on with the arrest of our Lord, came to check, check it out to see what was going on. And that's when the soldiers got him. Though he was not an apostle, he would have known then our Lord, even while he was exercising, at least towards the end of our Lord's public ministry. But in any case, he was one of the first companions also of St. Paul. We have that recorded in the Acts of the Apostles where Saint, he took St. When St. Paul went off one of his first missionary journeys, he took St. Barnabas, who was, a, who was a, a cousin or an uncle of St. Mark, and took Mark as well, who was still yet very young. And they got as far as Cyprus, and Mark returned. Decided he couldn't handle, and he re returned to Jerusalem. The next time that Paul was ready to take Barnabas, again, this is recorded in the Acts, Barnabas wanted to take Paul, to take Mark as well, and Paul refused. He would not take Mark. And Paul and Barnabas split ways. Later on, Mark again would assist St. Paul, and St. Paul writes about that as well in one of his epistles. I believe it's the Colossians? Not certain, but anyways, it's one of the epistles that he wrote while he was in Rome. Mark had gone to him towards the end of Paul's life. And then Mark served as an assistant to St. Mar Peter, well in Rome, and as interpreter. And it is from St. Peter that it was, well, St. Peter that dictated, it would seem, and Mark wrote his gospel from what he heard and learned from St. Peter. Mark then, afterwards, after the, <clears throat> the death of Peter, went down to Africa, to Egypt, to Alexandria. And it is tradition as he started the school there of Christian thought. And what we see here, particularly in our liturgy today, is the theme of we are weak, we fall. We may turn away briefly, but yet we must trust in God's mercy that he will bring us back that we can get the strength we need from him to carry on the mission he gives each one and each and every one of us. And we must pray for that strength, that courage, to carry out that mission. Even if in our weakness we fall, we can come back again. We should never give up. St. Mark didn't, and because of that, we have the evangelist, the gospel, the account of our Lord's life that we have from him from which we heard today the end of that gospel, and our Lord's ascension, and the zeal with which the apostles go out and preach the gospel to all nations, just as our Lord commanded, and so Mark did as well. And we see that our Lord worked with the apostles as they went out, working wonders and signs in order to emphasize the fact that here's the truth. Here is the way we must follow in order to save our souls. The way of Jesus Christ, the gospel. Let us then, with that same courage that St. Mark exercised, even in weakness, even falling, turn back, keep going, carry on. With the grace of God, we can and will achieve the very mission which you are all called to, the very goal for which we all have here on this earth, the salvation of our souls, our union with God. Praise be Jesus and Mary.
Oh, perhaps. 